Creating a dashboard with an uploaded file is the simplest and fastest way to start analyzing data. In this video, you will learn how to author a dashboard using an uploaded file, how to transform and prepare data for analysis, and how to use a dashboard to discover facts about your data. This dashboard will be created in the video. It's intended to show you how dashboards can be used to get you to quick insights and understanding with minimal effort. If it was intended for a wider audience, additional formatting would be done. Data from a fictional school board in the education samples was uploaded as a compressed file. The dashboard will be created using the compressed library rather than a data module, and it'll explore student data and provide insights into the 2017 school year. Select the file, click the Create pull-down, click Create Dashboard, the blank template will be used, press Create, and the dashboard is ready for work. The dashboard authoring canvas opens. The tables in the student data zip file are shown under selected sources. Before starting dashboard development, doing some data preparation and transformation may make sense. Good starting place is to look at the uploaded data and metadata first. Expanding demographics table to see its columns. A data type is assigned to each column during the upload. Person ID is a decimal field, and this is indicated by the hash mark. Person type is a text field, indicated by a lowercase abc. Birthplace city is a text field also, and during the upload it was identified as being geographic data, which is indicated by the location icon. Data as of date is a date indicated by the clock icon. Expanding the K-12 record table, the free meal indicator is identified as a measure by the right angle ruler icon. Measures are numeric quantitative values. Since the attribute is numeric, Cognos Analytics identified it as a measure. To explore the scope of data values uploaded, members can be used. Expanding the student table and doing the same for gender, a list of unique values is displayed. If there had been more than 15 values, you could click Load More and see the additional values. Using members can provide insight to where you might want to start data discovery. You can transform data by defining how null values are displayed when they appear in a visualization. A null value for gender may not be very informative. To enrich your analysis, you might decide to display a more informative value, in this case, not provided rather than null. Select the action menu for gender, click format, and in the pull down, indicate that this is a text field. You can see that a missing values character field is now available, and I can type not provided. Click OK. Notice this does not change the null which is shown in the members. We will see the not provided value does appear when used in a visualization. A common technique used in data analysis is grouping. This puts related data into groups, enabling an aggregated view of the related data. In this case, we're going to look at person type. And we're going to create a group for staff. Create another group, and I'm going to call it Parents. And I'll create one last group called Students. In this case, I'm going to keep the default name that was created, Person Type Group. Click Create and the new column is created. New data can be created using calculations. Having the birth year and month would enrich analysis of the student population. To create a calculation, click More, Create Calculation. In this case, I'm going to use a function, which I click on the function area, and I want to pull out the year out of birth date. So I do a search. 
I pick up my function, drag it to the expression area. You can see that the cursor sits inside the parentheses. And in the information area, there's a explanation of how to use this function. Click the data, expand student, and I drag and drop the student birth year. I can check to see how my function is working. I click the preview. And the result shows me that the birth year is being extracted as I expect. Come up to year, and I'm going to give it the name birth year. Click OK. And the calculation is created. The first question to answer is, how many students are enrolled? The K-12 record table has student enrollments for 2017. This can be verified by looking at the school year members. Student ID is going to be used to get a count of students. Checking the properties, we can see that the aggregate is set to count distinct. This will give us the result we want. Selecting the visualization icon, summary is dragged onto the canvas, and then student ID is dropped onto the visualization. We can see that there's 49.6 thousand students enrolled. When school ID is dropped onto the canvas, Cognos Analytics will decide what it thinks is the best visualization to use based on the data. In this case, it's going to use a list, but I want to get a count of the number of schools that are active in the school year. I go up to table, which is the visualization being used. I can scroll down to see what my choices are, and I'm going to click summary. This changes the visualization to the summary, and we see there are 60 schools. To understand how the student population is distributed by grade, a horizontal column chart will be used. The visualization is dropped on the canvas, and grade enrolled will be used for the bars. And student ID will be used for length. To get some additional insight, student ID count will be sorted descending to show the grades with the highest enrollments at the top. To understand student age distribution by gender, birth year, person ID, and gender are selected and dropped onto the canvas. Based on the data, the SMARTS feature creates a bar chart. Right away, you can see some outliers in the data, which probably should be investigated. To focus on the students born in 2000 to 2004, click on the birth year, click more, click filter. You're presented with a list of years, birth years. In this case, I can select 2000 through the 2004. Click done. And my visualization maintains a new focus. One thing to note here is that null value that we provided for gender is now showing the not provided label. You've now seen how to do data analysis using a dashboard and an uploaded file. Using your understanding of how to prepare and transform data, you can create dashboards using the many different Cognos Analytics visualizations available to you. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.